Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is your basic Sorgonomics. It's a brand new week. We're doing this. And uh, if you haven't yet, check out uh, my appearance on Red Horse Radio. Uh, just look up uh, Red Horse Radio on your Google. You will find it somewhere or on your iTunes or Stitcher. Uh, I'm on there talking with the great John Towers, Johnny Axe, uh, and our great creator and pro wrestler, actually. Uh, but we talk about a lot of creative things in a, an epic two and a half hour interview. And uh, please check out everything at Sorgatron.com. Uh, we have some blog posts up there. And uh, of course, sign up for the newsletter. Check out the events going up. These webinars that we're doing in Lunch and Learns. We got a Lunch and Learn coming up. Uh, an intro to podcasting course here at the beginning of the month. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, I'd love to see you there. But I wanted to uh, roll back to some stuff that we talked about on that podcast, and, and, and I feel like I feel like I feel like I was asked questions, and we just diverged. It's just like the natural discussion, and 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 I, I I'm I'm concerned that we never got back to some of the questions he asked. Uh, and and I was curious about where some of them came from because we talked a lot on there actually about. Uh, your identity and how people perceive uh, what you are and what you're trying to sell versus what people think you're selling. And, you know, as like, I want to do corporate videos and marketing videos and stuff, but uh, people think I'm doing this, that, and the other thing that are not related to that and and don't see the bridge that, oh yeah, of course they can do this kind of video, right? And, uh, and I think that's an interesting discussion, but but one of them that really kind of surprised me, and I feel I feel bad of my response to it because he's a uh, he wanted to know about newsletters, and I'm like, why is that the thing you want to know about? <laughs> Again, that kind of identity thing, right? And uh, and I think about that, and I'm trying to think where he might have gotten that from, and in, in, in what I'm talking about here. Uh, but uh, I, I wanted to do uh, for the next uh, eight minutes everything I know about newsletter. Um, Newsletter uh, advertising use, uh, stuff like that. Uh, now, I, I we talked about on there kind of my a little bit of like what I do with my newsletters. Of course, we have the one for indie wrestling us, and then we have a several. And I I've called it for now Sorgatron Media Creators, but with some of the stuff coming up here uh, with the uh, new Sidekick Media Services dot com, which uh, you can you can follow the uh, Twitter account and the Facebook for that. Uh, at this moment, I don't think I don't think I, I actually linked the Twitter, but uh, you can get that at Sidekick Media Co. Actually, on there, uh, not much happening right now. Just kind of advertising stuff, but, but I'm hoping to get some stuff up there very very soon as we go and uh, develop out the website in the next few weeks. But um, and, and put that whole thing together and putting that package together. But I, you know, we 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 have the wrestling one. It makes sense. Uh, we have people signing up for it, saying, "Hey, we have these digital downloads." I think that's where I diverged. I started down talking about the digital downloads and not why they were important to the newsletters. Because we always say, uh, hey, get this new up, get get this uh, free copy of X. And I've set up with MailChimp uh, that p- within, I think, an hour of when they sign up, uh, they'll actually receive an email to download that show. I was changing it up for a little bit, and I really should change it up again. Uh, it's a, it's an IWC anniversary show uh, with a lot of big names like AJ Styles, guys you would know if you 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 paid attention to anybody lesser than WWE at least. Uh, and then some, I think there's some WWE guys on there. I think Sandman was at this show, but anyways. And and, and then we have the other one that's the creators. Um, I'm still trying to build that list. I need to learn about list building. Uh, it makes sense with the wrestling because I could go say, here, sign up for this thing. Or or every time uh, somebody buys something, I have a I have kind of a form letter. I, I try to customize it because I am by hand doing it. But every time I see a payment for a digital download, a DVD, I say, hey, thank you for your order. Thank you for supporting the, the, the group, the promotion, uh, the production, if it's a if it's a. Uh, a documentary that we did or shoot not shoot interviews but you know stuff like that it's, it's not like a straight wrestling show and and i say hey if you haven't yet please sign up for our newsletter you get a free download you'll get up on all the updates and that seems to work and i, and, and I think I, I do get some some play off of the newsletters i'm looking at the click throughs i've seen a few of them come through um i'm not ter- sure entirely if they are going straight through to sales on these new releases but uh, at least uh, I, I do see um, them coming through, like when we do sales, for sure. Like you know, well, I'll I'll get two or three off of off of a sale we do for a holiday. And but again, I'm kind of spreading it wide. It's also on 
the promotion, social media, and everything too, as well as buying. So again, I kind of need to work on tracking that back and seeing what is actually working and what to kind of target a little bit more. Um, what else? Uh, so, so my philosophy, and, and I'm working on this, is I'm, I'm kind of seeing how the really good people at this are, are doing their newsletters. I actually subscribe to Chris Brogan's, and if you haven't yet, actually, I'd have I'm realizing I don't think I've officially posted this, but it is available online on the Google Hangouts um, linked from uh, podcampittsburgh.com. But a great talk by Chris Brogan. Uh, and he talks about newsletter and why this is important and getting your, your audience together uh, because it is something that a lot of people still use. And, and for him, um, he sells mostly online courses and webinars, I believe, for his business. And for him, uh, the newsletter is very important. He has uh, some 30,000 people or something crazy on his newsletter. I'm sure that number's not right at all. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and that leads to generating people that buy his thing. Uh, now, I have a very lower number than that, but I'm, I'm building it. And, uh, and, and, and I have a good percentage that responds to it. Right. Uh, but again, this percentage of people and maybe they're more engaged because they were at a wrestling show. So they're very interested in versus, um, um, you know, plugging in a thing at the, at the top of the site. I also think you need to be not so annoying with your uh, newsletter promotion. Now, one thing I have done, I've added the hello bar. I'm not paying for it to get rid of the hello bar logo. Unfortunately, I should eventually here. Uh, but I have a little thing that pops up at the top of the sites. I figure it's mostly unobtrusive uh, that says, hey, why don't you, you know, sign up for some more information and sign up for some free stuff here? Uh, that sort of thing. And I'm, ho I, I'm hoping if anybody is finding them annoying, um, uh, please let me know. Uh, at least I'm not popping up in the middle page and keeping you from the content unless it's loading weird, and, and if you do, please tell me. Uh, but kind of that persistent thing. And, and I am seeing uh, emails come in through it. Um, a, a strangely specific, not specific, uh, but a strangely um, a surprising number coming through there. Uh, so it works. And, and, and especially with uh, the case of, say, IndieWrestling.us getting a lot of hits and some great articles going up between that and Wrestling Mayhem Show, dot com and uh and, and getting a lot of exposure so i think there's a lot of opportunity for people to pop in and say oh what's the site about oh it's about this you know indie wrestling all right i'll sign up uh it's not hard to you know uh, john on the show on red horse radio the other day was saying you know it's got to be the hardest thing to get to to ask people for their email address and i don't think so i i it's not hard to ask um, that of all things, that part isn't isn't the thing I'm having trouble asking. I'm having trouble asking people for. I'm kind of working on the what is the frequency. I don't ask too much, and 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 of course, what is the value proposition? I don't have a value proposition, which means you know they get something for signing up. I say, hey, I write things, and you can sign up for this newsletter. And you have an idea, and then I can also say, hey, I do these webinars and stuff. If you're interested in learning more than what we learn off of basic ergonomics, right? Versus, I mean, it's kind of a loose thing, and I don't know if it catches on quite so much. You guys are definitely out here listening to this. Uh, but when I look at the wrestling thing, oh, I'm into wrestling, and you give me a free show, boom, I'm in. You know, here's my email address. I want to see that show. I would. I would in an instant. If, if, if AIW or Jakar or somebody else says, sign up for a newsletter, you can download a free show sampler pack of our matches, something like that. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, I mean, that that makes absolute sense. And uh, and I think that's the other thing too. Uh, there was oh geez, what was I quit? Uh, quit by five by five. They talked about what you were selling, and and you know trying to kind of figure out what your business is and and your advertising and something like that. And kind of sit back and say, is that something I would buy if I was in somebody else's permission? And why would I buy it from you? And I. Th think that that applies to emails too like wait is that something i would sign up for and you know why is that something that i would sign up for and are the people like me you got to put yourself kind of in uh your customers or your 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 audiences of you and, and kind of you know somebody says reverse engineer people in society uh, maybe that's a little bit of what it is let me know what you think sorgatron.com please sign up for my newsletter Hey, I just fixed that up a little bit so it's a little clearer. I, I noticed I was having some user 
uh, issues on that site. So I, I'm, I'm hoping I clean that out, uh, change the color screen a little bit. Hope it's a little nicer on your eyes out there. Uh, please hit me up with any feedback at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.